Why do I, <laughs> I look like Winnie I shrunk the kids? <laughs> Why do I look so small? Move it up. All right, what's going on team? Welcome back to another second channel video. And today we're going through Reddit and the world of no stupid questions. I still look tiny. This is so bizarre. Do you have to like really lean in? Questions that the world needs answering and Jazz and I are here to do our best. I don't know any of the questions, so I am intrigued. Question number one, 34,000 upvotes. Does anyone else get a momentary whiff of a scent that you can't identify but reminds you of your childhood? Hmm. Yeah, I suppose so. Great. Well, the only thing that I can think of is, you know, like the really, really horsey smell. Oh, that is like so nostalgic and it's just the most delicious smell and it's so lovely and it reminds me of like starting riding at six years old and my first little horse that I rode called Candy and it's like then it makes me like hmm and then it passes and you're like oh okay. I actually don't think I get this. That was a really specific answer. <laughs> I don't think I get this. No, yeah but I don't you have do. anything that I'm like oh like no. 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 You didn't have a very good childhood. <laughs> Sorry. Number two, does anyone else feel absolutely empty inside after finishing a really good show or movie? Not empty, just I need a few days off from starting anything else. I don't know, we, we've had a few. You'll probably remember them better than me, but when you finish them and you're just like, oh no, 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 like, I, no, we need more, we need they more They become episodes. real. Yes, The Last Kingdom is definitely one of those. Yeah. Designated Survivor. Yes. There's more. We've watched there's so more, we've watched so much. But yeah, stuff. don't feel empty. Just feel that I need a few days off because those characters that we've just finished watching, like I won't watch again. I don't watch series twice. Jazz does. I can't answer this one. What's the first thing woman noticed in a guy? Probably like how tall they are. How or tall? Or like their eyes or teeth. Like thing not this is just more like people in general though. Like if somebody is like really tall or has like really pierced eyes or has like really wonky teeth, like you just notice I feel like they're the three things that you notice like straight away. Usually I just noticed if they lift or not. You know what I mean? Like usually when you see someone walking past you're like, ah oh, you lift. This is why with guys and they're like, yeah I gotta get like really pumped, get all the <laughs> yeah. girls. I'm like, I promise you I'm the only people when leaving the house, does anyone else tell their pets that they'll be home later? Always. Always. I always say, I'll be back in a minute. Back in a minute. Back in a minute. Because then they know we're coming back. See you later, Carla. And we'll say, and Grandma Kaffee is going to come out. Yeah. And then we'll tell her the full itinerary so that she yes. knows exactly what's going on. And then we leave. And she does this. And then we come back. <laughs> when she's listening. So we know that she knows what we're saying. If Coca-Cola formula is a secret, what do they write on ingredients? If some ingredients are missing from the label, why do regulators allow them to do that? I don't think that, well, someone actually answered this in the comments. They write natural flavors. Can't wait till we get unnatural Coca-Cola. <laughs> from the Coca-Cola tree. The thing is with Coca-Cola, they do keep the recipe in a vault, but then someone has to know the recipe, which always blows my mind. But the ingredients list, they don't have to uh, otherwise, put how do they make it? The amounts of each though, the do they? Somebody's gotta know the recipe to make Coca-Cola. If nobody knows it, <laughs> there would be no Coca-Cola. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> do you get emotional to certain songs? Yes, really emotional. Like chokes me up. What one? Dunno, lots of them. I love to listen to ballads in the car and I think it makes jazz angry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a different sort of emotion. It's more because I like the. the it's just like the warbly, like yeah, and more like the R and B stuff, and I'm just like, oh no, just like not, just not right now. But this is the important part of having a good, supportive relationship. She does it anyway. She listens, and you can tell that she's fuming <laughs> because the car starts to fill up with steam that's coming out of her ears, and then I have to change the. I the, think the, mine's more. It doesn't have to be emotional, like sad emotions. It can be like any emotions, like some songs, you know, like really old school, like emo kind of and you just like what's that meme of the guy and he's like yeah! bashes the like beer can on his head and he's like Whoa! if a restaurant adds a required gratuity do you still tip no the gratuity is the tip people. yes don't give them another tip 
I mean, unless they've been like outstanding. Does anyone else think about a bridge collapsing whilst they're driving over it? No. Not really, if I'm being honest. No. Just drive faster. <laughs> Within the speed limit. Not with bridges, but with elevators. I hate elevators. So do me and you. So do me and you, yes. <laughs> after, after our, well, so funny thing about me when I was growing up, up to about 13, I would never go in a lift just because claustrophobia was a thing when I was a kid and I'd always take the stairs. When we were in Madison, the lift dropped for a brief second and Jazz and I left the floor and then it was between the 14th and the 12th floor and it was going up and down. There's no 13th floor on a, in a hotel for luck reasons or whatever, but we thought we were going to die. And since then, I've always thought about it every time I've gone in a lift. But it was a terrifying experience. Probably one of the most terrifying experiences. It was really scary, to be honest. We went weightless. Mm. The thing slipped. And then just the up down arrows just kept flickering between the two. And we couldn't tell. And you couldn't tell if you were going up or down because there's no, like, you have no view of outside. And then and it then was it like, just, we let you live yeah. now. Yeah. Why do fountain sodas taste better than canned bottled drinks? Do you think they do? To be fair, they do do different syrup ratios. I know that at McDonald's because of the ice mixture too. They, they can change it and make it so. I think it's just because you drink it with a straw. <laughs> Pointing <laughs> question. <laughs> do you think there's something better about drinking with a straw? Yeah. Like it tastes that. better? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. The ice doesn't hit my teeth. Am I allowed to cut a chip off my credit card and attach it inside a magician's wand so I can tap it magically to complete purchases? Yes, that sounds like a really fun plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, why did more people not do that? Yeah, true. Apparently, unfortunately, the antenna for the tap functionality is usually not in the chip, but multiple lines of wire around the edge of your car. So legally, I have no idea. Functionally, it wouldn't work. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah, it wouldn't look quite as good if you just had the card stuck to the end. Unless you had like one of the little, you know, the ones with the little streamers on. You know, like Agnes out of um, Despicable Me. I didn't listen to the last 10 seconds, but I'm glad you contributed. Why not? I Who else are you listening to? There's nothing else going I, on. I switched just off for a second. Out. I literally did. Why is it so awkward to meet your cat in the wild? Last week I was chilling with some friends at the park when suddenly I saw my cat. He looked at me awkwardly and just walked off whilst I avoided his gaze. It shouldn't be awkward, but it is. Does anyone know why? This is why you have a dog. If your dog saw you in the wild and it was out and about, you'd be like, how did that get out of the house? But also they would be so excited to see you. I don't know, I quite like the sassiness of cats. They're just like, you know, independent, don't really need you, just they've chosen. To, if a cat was big enough, it would kill you. They've chosen to domesticate themselves to make life easier, and I think that's really clever. <laughs> <laughs> Years ago, I was hiking a few miles from my house and ran into my cat. We were both surprised to see each other. She hiked the rest of it with me and then back home. Ah, It's quite cute. What a great story. Reddit really bringing the feels. Anyone else manually spread their ass cheeks when sitting on the toilet to give yourself more room to poop? 35,000 upvotes. The toilet seat acts as a restraint keeping your cheeks wide when you sit down. This is true. Because I suppose when you sit it naturally like holds on to your butt. Yeah, but do you manually spread them? No, I do not. No. No. It's not something I've thought about. I mean, maybe if somebody's got like <laughs> a really big butt, they might need to. I don't know. Yes, but not with my hands. I lean one cheek and then kind of stretch across the seat to the other cheek. <laughs> That's quite funny. I could see how that would work. Why are Asian elephants tameable whilst African elephants are not? You're very, you shout. Asian elephants were used since the Bronze Age as beasts of burden or war elephants, but attempts with African elephants always end in failure. Why is this? To be honest, I didn't know there was two types of elephant. I thought there was just the elephant. Surely not. Surely, have you just not? Well, how many types of elephant are there? More than one. There's not just okay, an so elephant. Okay, so there's at least two, but how you many know types? The African and Shall the we look Asian elephants? Because they have different ears. I didn't know that. The African elephants are the ones with the really big ears, and the Asian elephants are the ones that, that are like this. Okay, there's at least seven types of elephant. Yeah, but they're the main two. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. If you don't know the answer, someone in the comments did actually put it in. One interesting thing is that they have a completely different social structure. African elephants live in matriarchal pods with a clear hierarchy. Nearly all female with males living in trios or pairs in the periphery. Asian elephants do not have clearly defined hierarchies and live in mixed sex groups that appear more... Egalitarian. Egalitarian. So maybe Asian elephants are more likely to cooperate with us because they don't live in a rigid hierarchic, hierarch, hierarchical, hierarchical, hierarchical. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a hierarchy, people. Have you never watched David Attenborough? Yeah, but they go, here's the elephant. No, they don't. <laughs> he doesn't go, here's the bird. You ever get so annoyed with your life to where something as simple as a phone vibrating pisses you off? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> something will happen and I'm just like... <sighs> or I'll go... <sighs> and then move on. We always talk about this. I don't, I don't know why we always do, but you know, it always comes up in conversation that we used to have ringtones on our phone and we used to p spend money to like buy a ringtone so when someone rang us we could listen to that song and it made us cool. Now if anyone has a ringtone you're like, why is your phone not on vibrate or silent? Isn't it? Mm. Weird how things yeah, have changed. Yeah, somebody's phone rings out loud, everyone's like, oh, You have how not. Dare you? Yeah, I do. How dare you. Where the hell do you find broccoli in the wild? Hmm. Don't have to walk past wild broccoli. I think the thing for me that raises a question with that question is like, you know, when you went back to olden times and people had to just figure it out as they went along. Like, oh, I'll eat this berry. I didn't die, right? Like, who went and saw a broccoli? Like, when you look at a broccoli, hold on a second. He's gone and it's gonna make him happy. So let's all just pretend that this is needed. Who walked <laughs> past this in the wild, right? Look at that. Mmm, what a tasty little tree. And when, mm. and when I'm gonna have a munch on that and hope that it doesn't kill me. I mean, in fairness, compared, and, to, and then, compared to other things, at least this is just like a small tree. Like imagine carrots, they're bright orange. But also the health benefits are, are really good. So do you reckon people ate them and went, oh, I feel a bit better? And then they just were like, that's good for me, that. Mm. Oh, nowhere, apparently, in the comments. Island, broccoli so. is a man-made vegetable. Broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, Brussels sprouts, and a few other things are just mutant offsprings of the same wild plant, which just looks like a weed. It's native to Europe. This is man-made, apparently. Don't take this anything from this video as factual, but maybe it is. A man-made broccoli? What? Yeah, who'd have thought? Who invented Brussels sprouts? We were fine without Brussels sprouts. But in America, Brussels sprouts are like, people love Brussels sprouts in America. Yeah, well people love Brussels sprouts here too, but it's more of like a Christmas thing, isn't it? Yeah, no, I, I honestly think sometimes when people eat food at Christmas it's because it's, there's too much of it, because people don't want dry turkey and they don't want tasteless Brussels sprouts, so they just make everyone eat it on Christmas day. Does anyone else prefer to have a haircut in silence rather than make small talk with hairdressers? I really like my hairdressers, so no. Um, no, but when I go to like, you know, if you just go into a walk in barbers, it is, it can sometimes be a bit like, all right, let's, what are we talking about? I'm a man's hairdresser and I love when I get guys who close their eyes, meaning they don't want to talk because I don't want to make the small talk either. We don't like it. We don't like to do it. Could you just read this before you try and read it out loud? Because this is painful to listen I'm not, to. I'm not the best at reading. <laughs> we don't like to do it, but Can we you have- just start again? Just... No, no, I'm halfway. I've already put them through enough pain. We don't like to do it, but we have to, or else we get called rude. <laughs> when really, I don't want to talk to you. Fair enough. You read it slowly and you stun with words out. <laughs> I'm skim reading. <laughs> Just to be clear, we all put our phones in our pockets, screen facing towards our bodies. Is that correct? No. 
Yes. No. Uh, yes. Every time. I don't, I don't. It slides in better. Yeah, but I don't like it because like, the screen's like the hot bit and I feel like there's more radiation coming off the screen. So I don't like it. I prefer it away from my body. Do you forget your own age sometimes? No. But yeah. I feel, I still feel in my 20s. Do you? Yeah, do you? Mm. I don't know if I still feel in my 20s, but I just don't. I don't actually know. I thought when, you know, when you're like 17, 18 and you look at someone that's like 30 and you're like, oh, they're old, right? But I don't feel like I'm old. But oh, like, like it just makes me kind of reflect and go, I'm just like, wow, this is, this is sick. I don't really feel like old or young. Yeah. You feel just I right. I just that like, happy where I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah nice. I mean, like I do forget my age sometimes, but it's easy to work out because I was born in, I probably shouldn't say. Do Americans actually have shredders in their kitchen sinks? Yes. Yes, when we've been to like Airbnbs and other people's houses and it's not a thing it's in terrifying. UK, Europe, anything. Yeah, when you turn like Yeah, just... it's on a, yeah, oh, it's like off a horror film. Imagine if like your hand went down then. Yeah, then you're in, then you're in yeah. deep trouble. No, we don't do that in the UK. Someone goes, Italian who lived in the US for the past two years and moved back very recently can confirm there's no such thing in Italy. Honestly, it's really convenient. I miss my garbage disposal, man. And someone underneath goes, I didn't know. <laughs> I miss my garbage disposal, man. Uh, Not yeah. miss my garbage disposal, man. <laughs> Punctuation is yeah, there okay. to help. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. I didn't know we were the only ones that used them. Use mine all the time. But yeah, I would use it all the time too if we had one here, we don't. Doesn't that just make all the food go into the yeah. like waste you water though? Chops it up. Do you ever pull out your phone to check the time but you have to do it again because you forgot to look at the clock or am I just stupid? I do this all the time. All the time. Because I'll go, oh, what's the time? Oh, so and so is just, oh, right, yep, yeah, just reply to that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> and I have to look again. So what actually was the time? <laughs> Yeah, me yeah. too, me too. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing, 27,000 people. Why does digging a hole at the beach attract guys? I was digging a hole at the beach and after some time, three other dudes came up to me to help me dig it. Passersby also complimented that it was a nice hole. Edit. The hole was deep enough for me to stand in it and needed help to come out. That's a hole, that's a deep hole. That's a, he's put some hours into that. Men will do anything to avoid doing tasks that will actually be practical and help in a day. You're telling me that that's helpful? It's fun. Is it? Yeah, but why? Like, I'm not saying it's not, but like, why is it fun to dig a hole? So what? You wouldn't dig a hole. You don't do anything practical. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> As a guy who's been digging holes in the beach for 35 years, I can tell you beyond any equivocation, Right. I don't know, I think so, I've never seen that or one shadow of a, Or a shadow of a doubt, I have no idea why I do it. It's it's just a thing, like, there's nothing, like, it's just, it's natural to do. Dig a hole. Some guy goes, where is the hole? Is it still there? Can I help? How many do should I bring? <laughs> good humour, good humour, Reddit. With 27,000 upvotes, how the hell am I supposed to know what I want to do with my life at 16 years of age? You don't. You don't, you don't have You really to. don't. You don't even have If you're to 16 know. and watching this and your parents are like, you should know what you should do with your age. Don't worry about it. Like literally do not worry. No. I can't stress to you enough how much you do not need to worry about it because it, it will just all work out. But if you do know what you want to do and you're like set on it, go after it. Yeah, like if you want to be a happen. doctor, maybe don't hang around because that's like yeah. years of university. So you don't want to, you know. But if you don't, things just happen. like. Life flows, doesn't it? Yeah. Sometimes you're like, like, whoa, I didn't see myself. Like, I didn't see ourselves like this. Yeah, and if you just like reflect back on like when you were 16, like, yeah, so anything could happen. Just don't worry about it. 26,000 upvotes. Who else doesn't care about the Super Bowl? This was me for 30 years of my life. I did not care one bit. It was on midnight, because it's on at midnight every time here in the UK. Wouldn't care who was playing, what the score was, anything. Quarterback documentary came on, became a big Pat Mahomes fan. Thought I should start watching 
American football actually really enjoyed watching American football at the weekends and then the Super Bowl is life. I think it made it even more fun though because our chosen team then won. Yes. I feel like it was the perfect seat. We need to just, we, we got into the NFL, we maybe just need to retire the NFL and just accept that we had a really good one and only year of being fans. <laughs> I can't wait for it to start again. That's what's crazy. Like I loved my weekends. I love my weekends watching the NFL, so I can't wait for it to come back. Where should we go and watch one live? Yeah, where's the best place to go and to watch, watch an NFL live. game? Yeah, we'll add it to the list. Is it okay for men to sit down on the toilet to pee? Absolutely. Jazz makes me do it in the ensuite. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You even do it down here though? Yeah, because it, after a while it becomes it's habit. It's comfortable, isn't it? And it's comfortable, and you can spend a lot longer just sat there, just, yeah, yeah. Really matter, you know. A 10 second wee turns into a three minute chill. I don't mind. It's a time out, I also really. don't mind men standing up to go to the toilet, but you just clean up after yourselves. Honestly, like, the, it, this is one of the things in life that absolutely infuriates me. I do not want to sit in your urine. Like, stop being disgusting. 25,000 upvotes. Do people not rinse their bananas? Last night I went to grab a banana, I gave it a quick rinse in the sink, then proceeded to peel it and eat it. My girlfriend nearly lost her mind laughing and made fun of me for rinsing the banana. Well, yeah, because it's pointless. You're not eating the skin. What a stupid task. Why would you rinse a banana? Yeah. You do not need to rinse a banana. Or, or if you do, please tell me why. Why would you rinse one? It's got a peely skin for a reason. A peely skin. A peely skin. <laughs> All right, last one with 24,000 upvotes. If someone paid you $100 an hour to stay in an empty room for eight hours a day with nothing on you except lunch, how long would you last? I don't even know if I'd last a day. It's kind of like that Mr. Beast video, isn't it? Where they just kind of were in that blank room. Yeah, but it's just eight hours a day is like going to work. What, so you could sit there with no social interaction, nothing to do, just your food for $100 an hour for eight hours a day consistently. That's $800 a day, right? People would argue that going to work in general is like being sit in a blank room with nothing to do, bored out your brain. People would probably rather do that than go to work. For $800 a day? Are you saying you want to get away from me for eight hours lunch? a day and that is better? For $800 a day? Yeah. Put me in the room for eight hours. I might clear this room out and <laughs> I'll pay $800 a day. See what happens, see how long you last. Not no a, dogs. Not eight. So $100 an hour for an empty room for eight hours a day. So it's not for a full 24 hours. Yeah, no, but eight hours is a long time. Yeah, that's what people go to work for, Craig, that have normal jobs. No, no, no. Eight hours is a long, yeah, but you, nothing. Nine till five. No, there'll be nothing. Nine till five, you can have breakfast before and you can have lunch after. You can still go to the gym, still see the dogs, still do your socials afterwards, no, still watch a no. movie. So how long would you last? Well, I don't know. Years. Two hours rich enough to not need to do it anymore. <laughs> Anyway team, that's been fun. That's been us and the No Stupid Questions subreddit. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do smash that like button. Questions answered. And this is more fun than sitting in a room for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs>